Now here we're looking at Great Panther uh, Silver. This is one that uh, has had, uh, you know, a lot higher uh, move in the past. Uh, you know, it's just like a lot of the silver and gold positions has been having a little bit of a tough time of it, um, and and even as of late. But really, what we're seeing here is prices just trying. I think trying to find a you know kind of a, a happy medium, an area where it can kind of bounce out and start to recover you can start to see here right here that we're seeing some divergence from the prior swing lows this is another reason why we started to position ourselves in here but when we look at it and, and even along with a lot of stocks here um, in this sectors um, that's why we've been really getting back into this yes there is there a risk can it can continue to go lower here where it did before yes that's a possibility um, I'm just thinking here though that the overall you know, it had a very, very nice run. I'm not saying we're going to see that same thing, but what we did see is it trying to recover and and it's trying to test this. And I think we could see this continue to go a little lower, but try to recover in the process because I do think silver and and gold are really at a point where they're going to start to improve a little bit here now when we move into the day you can kind of see how the, you know the divergence is showing here um, as as prices go lower we're seeing it try to recover you're seeing it get back up and over the 50-day moving average again uh, we saw that a little little here but so far it's still been kind of holding that I think we're seeing this improve and I do think it's uh, probably you know the time to kind of stay you know to dabble the water with with a lot of these uh, these uh, you know silver and gold stocks